So some possibly lesser known Blue Sky Plan functionality is that next to every view you have a camera. And if you click on the camera, then it will take a screenshot. You have an option of save screenshot or save screenshot for all positions. All positions will mean that it will just go through each slice and save that screenshot. But let's click save screenshot. And what it does, it's a put, it puts the screenshot into a basket of screenshots. Now we could go ahead and we could save these to our computer. We could turn them into a PDF. We could print them out and we could actually create a video, either an M uh, MP4 video or a GIF video. You could also use the images to create a custom drill report, which there's a lot of different functionality that we have there, which we're not gonna get into right now. So here you have the basket of images that you've added. If you wanna remove an image from the basket, then you could right click here. We have different options to copy the clipboard, to save, remove the image, or to remove all images. So now if we want to take a look at this, let's remove this one as well. If we're going to be printing out, let's say, screenshots for the actual surgery. So first of all, we could go ahead and go to Tools, Add Text. You know what? Let's make this bigger first. Now let's go to Tools, Add Text. So if we want to include any notes to ourselves or the implant size, for example, then we could just go ahead and type whatever we want into the text box. We could change the size. We could change the color if we like. And then when we click OK, we have the text appear on the screen. Now, if we want to move it, we just could go ahead and grab it and drag it. In addition, we could use other tools that we have here. We could add a marker, for example. We could go ahead and point out some particular anatomy. And then click OK. Now we have both the text and we have the arrow. So for example, if we want to apply that to the implant size, we could go ahead and click make this much larger click OK and here we have our different functionality we can also grab the arrows and move it around and if we double click as we see here it opens up the different notes and annotations that we made on the screen and we could go ahead and modify edit or delete them now these notes are connected to the particular slice. So if we move along to a different slice, then the notes disappear. If we go back, then the notes will reappear again. Now if we go back to our screenshot functionality and take a screenshot now, then we've added the to our basket with the annotations or the notes that we've added. So I could go ahead and remove this. And here we could see our screenshot with the notes. In addition, the implant ID number is added as well, and the implant ID. So if we go ahead and go to our implant list, we could see that we have the ID, which we could go ahead and change to whatever value we like. And we could also toggle on and off the visibility of the implant number that we enter here as well. If we want to clean up the image and get rid of the different cross lines that we have here, then we could simply turn off the lines by using the button that we have right here. And if the implant is locked, showing us the lock symbol, we could unlock it to get rid of the symbol. And if we have any violation warnings and we see these exclamation marks, then we could simply click on the exclamation mark and simply hide the warnings temporarily for the screenshots. Now we could go ahead and click the screenshot as well. And now we have a clean image of the implant that we could go ahead and print out or save to the file with any comments that we're adding about the implant or about the anatomy or anything else that's relevant.